Hello, this is Brian McHenry, McHenry Software. What this quick brief video is, is demonstrating a new capability added to MSMAC 3D graphics, which is the ability to bring in VRML files. What you're seeing right now is a quick simulation animation of a VRML file brought in um, on a prior project we worked on. Now here's what the project was originally, and you notice it's just a mesh in our uh, options up here. You can bring in pictures, Google Maps, terrain from DXF, cloud files, and then terrain mesh. And then you can also turn on manage the ground visibility. So what we did here is we um, brought in a just the surface of the thing. Now we want to bring in the VRML files so we can see the actual buildings, etc. So now we click on VRML, and then we open it. And you see as it's bringing in, we also on the left there are showing a uh, handheld iPhone video of it coming in because when we're actually doing a screen capture, you don't see the uh, beauty of this coming in. That What our programmer did is to be able to bring in the separate pieces of the cloud file and to decimate them so that they don't take up as much memory as a lot of your multi-gigabyte files do, but also still visually pleasing. Once the blue circle stops moving over here, you can see that it's moving, um, loading it. Now we know that it's done. So you can actually just click, you see on the right, and there it is. But it was kind of nice watching it all come in. Now the only, the next thing we need to do is to sync this with the prior mesh file that we did. Obviously, you if you just bring this in and you don't have a mesh file, you can use it as is. And then you just place your smack vehicles. But we're going to first make sure we grab all the VRML surfaces. And then we want to drop the elevation until we see the other vehicles. Now we notice here, say, between the match between those two, so we want to move this over till it's approximately there. Bring it down here. Now if we drop this a little bit more. Now we notice down here in the lower left corner, there's still a little need for a match. It looks about like a good approximate match. And now you notice you have the ability to look at the scene so it looks more realistic like the actual scene. This particular one is a question of uh, visibility. So if we just run a simple animation, got a car starting in the right, got a car coming down the road. Actually, move this over a little so we can see it strike. Now, you notice on the bottom here there's actual cars there. That's because we still have visible that uh, other surface. If we can go here and we can turn that other surface off. So now you don't have that. Let's go ahead and see what other views we have. Again, there's a tracking camera where you can grab other views. This one was a tracking camera, and we set up the view of the actual approaching car. And here's a couple of quick views done in real time. We, you know, we create very quick to create them. You look at how to create videos in MSMAC. Um, I showed them as they played. And then now also we'll show the real time. 
There's a quick demonstration of how our uh, MSMAC 3D VRML import works. There will be more on this soon. Thank you for watching.